Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is going to be a chicken sausage burger made with slightly a little bit of vegetables and it's a special recipe for Valentine's Day so I thought I'll just, you know, this is what I made recently and I thought I'll share it to you with you guys on Valentine's Day. So here goes the recipe and here let's start with the ingredients. So I have two sausage links here. It's about half a pound of sausage, chicken sausage. Let's put them in a bowl along with some vegetables. I'm using onions and green peppers. You can use a variety of peppers like yellow, orange, red, whatever you want to. And also you can add mushrooms in it if you want. You can add green onions to it if you want. I'm also going to add some uh, minced garlic and some salt to it and also pepper, some salt and pepper. You can also add uh, mushrooms. You can add zu uh, zucchini. I wouldn't really add, but I would add any kind of vegetables that doesn't have too, too much um, water in it. I know mushrooms do, but that'll work. Um, so yeah, you can just add in as many vegetables as you want to. You can add, you can add grated uh, like broccoli or something into it or, um, and just go ahead and add in all the spices and vegetables and mix them up nicely with the sausage and, uh, just go ahead and shape them into burgers and then lay them to the side and lay them on a plate and I will tell you the next step in a All right, so here I'm about to mix it up really well. I'm just going to mix them a little bit just to show you, and then I'm going to have to mix it up properly. Here you go. I mixed it up really, really well. You want to make sure the salt, spices, everything else, even you can you can also add in paprika or cayenne pepper to it, or even some herbs if you want to. Um, this one already had, I think, some spinach in it or something, the sausage itself. I'm not sure what kind of sausage this was, but yeah. So then I went ahead and put some breadcrumbs onto the burgers. I made, I formed the burgers into uh, the shape of the burger buns. So you want to make them slightly bigger than the burger buns if it's possible. And then you want to go ahead and coat them with uh, breadcrumbs all around and all the sides. You know the drill, right? Just coat them up really well on uh, all sides and make sure there, you know, there's breadcrumbs everywhere. That's the thing that's going to give them the crispy texture on the outside without being deep fried. Yeah, we're not deep frying them. We're not pan frying them. We are baking them. So take a baking sheet or a cookie sheet and lay some parchment paper on top of it so that, you know, the cookies, oh, sorry, the, not the cookies, but the burgers don't stick to the tray. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and spray some oil onto the cookie sheet or the parchment paper. Uh, the parchment paper lined cookie sheet and so I'm using some olive oil uh, cooking spray I'm going to spray that uh, on to the uh, parchment paper generously and then go ahead and lay all four full burgers onto the baking tray and then I'm going to go spray in spray on some more olive oil onto the burgers as well this will help them crispen up of course we're going to go ahead and um, flip them over which will help them crispen but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, spray some on top of the burgers as well and then I'm going to pop them into a preheated oven at 400 degrees 5 so I'm just going to pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes and then after that this is how they come out you want to make sure you flip them over at least once after 10 minutes so that they get a crispy texture on both sides I mean they will cook if you don't flip them over as well but if you flip them over they will crispen up nicely and they will look nice and brown like they look in this picture Next, I'm going to go ahead and pop a multigrain bun. You can use white, wheat, multigrain, whole grain, gluten-free, whatever you want. Remember, the burgers are not gluten-free because they have um, breadcrumbs on top of them. So here I've toasted uh, some uh, burger buns, and I'm going to just add some mayo to it. Uh, you can add eggless mayo. You can add vegan mayo. You can add whatever. So, But remember, we're making chicken burgers here, so you can just add regular mayonnaise onto it. Then I'm going to go ahead and add one of the chicken burgers onto it. it. Looks Look how good it looks. It looks so good. I'm just going to add some lettuce to it. You can add lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, jalapenos, avocado, whatever you want to add to it. You can go ahead and add to it. It'll taste delicious, I promise you guys. But the burgers themselves in the burger, I mean the burger alone in the burger buns tastes so good. I, I, can, I promise you, you're not going to miss out on anything else if you don't add anything. But lettuce and tomato is a staple I know and also if you want to add some cheese to it you can add some cheese to it too but that's about it you guys I hope you really enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time bye